Welcome back to more Divinity Original Sin. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Well, I'm doing all right. I'm a little bit annoyed. Everything you're going to see in this video, I've already done. Had a Windows update yesterday and it messed up the audio. Video was unwatchable. Well, it was watchable, not listenable. So we're going to go through everything again. I've picked up everything worthwhile in here. We'll sell it later. I did want to point out there's plenty of tenebrium ore in this building. Remember, we had a random fight with a just some lady who didn't like us. We lost an argument and had to fight. And we killed her and all our friends. And now we're moving on. All right, there's nothing back here, but if we look at the map, there's two main buildings and a tunnel system back here. But before we explore all those, well, actually, let's explore the buildings first. Oh, I needed that. We think money bags. Ready to empty those pockets. Imbecile! Was your father a drunken hog? That's no way to greet a customer! Sorry, boss. Sorry. We were up in the game. Um, uh, hello? Um, Valiant Hero? How can I help you? So this is the blacksmith's shop for the town. And... The last time I came in these weapons, some of the weapons had actual tenebrium damage on them. Uh, but it looks like that's not the case now, so we won't bother, and I'll, like I said, I'll sell this stuff later. I think we can just chat with this guy. Um, um, greetings! Feel free to browse our wares. Highest quality equipment at the lowest prices, you know. So, you're the blacksmith's apprentice. That's right! How do you think I'm doing? I'm starting to get the hang of the operation, but my master's a tough bloke to please. And you're a goblin, right? Yes, yes, but not nearly so <clears throat> irritable as some of my kinfolk. I've embraced the goddess, and along with her proper <clears throat> civilization. So what is this village? And here I thought you were one of us. Well, stick around long enough, and we'll be put to good use, that's for certain. He's not kidding. This here is an immaculate village, see? Sacred stone by name. A place where every devotee of the goddess, orc, goblin, and man alike, can seek enlightenment and honor immaculate practices away from prying eyes. So he's got more tenebrium on the shelves behind him. Let's ask him about it. Plenty, plenty. Tenebrium is one of the goddess's many gifts to her children. My master's teaching me how to craft the stuff into the most powerful weapons yet known in Riverland. You small, squishy human types got to be extra careful, though. The goddess gift comes with a bit of a special kick for your kind. Which would be the rot. Tell me about your master. Not the easiest audience, that's for sure. But when it comes to handling the goddess's gift, one's got to have the highest standards. After all, he's only hit me three or four times. I think he likes me. All right, I think I will sell just the basic stuff that we'll never use. And who else is carrying random garbage? You are. I can't use those metal boots. I doubt we need the snowshoes. I don't know about that helmet. Gandalf. And Sandre has a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, I did pick up a whole bunch of robes, and I don't think I equipped them. So let's do that real quick. Take my leave. Uh, let's just check real quick. You've got 66, and yeah, we got a 70 right here. Gandalf has a 62. I think I saw another 70. 
we'll work our way down. 62 and a... Okay, we have 66s here. Jahan stuff does have initiative, but I I do like the immune to knockdown. You know what? We'll, we'll upgrade everything. And then 58 for you. Yeah, so we're going to go back to being slower. And then I think I saw a... Earth and Tenebrium resistance. You know what? I'm going to put that on. Give this to you. That's actually pretty good. And that's actually pretty good. Alright. Let's get out of here. We have one more building to check out. Across the way. And this is the Immaculate Academy. Look at all the desks. Ooh, I wonder if I can see what their books are. Magical tragedies. Let's... Yeah, we're not going to mess with it. We are going to chat with this guy right here, though. The Enlightened Teacher. Welcome, Curious Soul. Please remain among we followers of the Immaculate Way and learn the teachings of the Goddess. Where once you were lost, now you are found. And we can learn a lot from this guy. Tell me more about the Immaculates. We are disciples of the goddess and soldiers of the greater good. We seek to raise ourselves from among the lost, to become enlightened by the teachings of the goddess as delivered to us through our holy conduit. We live in harmony with the Tenebrium, at one with its curses and its blessings. What do you mean by lost? The enlightened may be permitted to draw the energy, the lifeblood from these lesser souls, an honor for the lost one. So we experienced that, right? When we went through the trial and they wanted us to kill a chicken to fill up a bloodstone so that we could heal ourselves of the rot. I think when they say lost ones, they mean people too. This conduit lady, care, care to tell me more. The link between we mortals and the almighty goddess. It was she who showed us how to transform Starstone, that seemingly vapid gem, into precious, life-giving bloodstone. It was she who showed us how to use the blood of the sacrificed to create healing magic. She dwells in the Tenebrium Mines now, along with those deemed enlightened enough to defend the goddess upon her return to Rivalon. What is Tenebrium exactly? Yes, bringer of rot, the goddess's bane. Miners in Silverglen uncovered this strange mineral only recently. It was this discovery that brought the conduit from on high to us souls willing to receive her. Can you tell me a little bit more about the rock? Most feared illness, but most blessed gift. The conduit came to those miners afflicted with the terrible disease and offered them salvation, showed them that by sacrificing the lost among them in the name of the greater good, they could cure even the most hopeless case of rot. Tell me about Bloodstone. Our most precious relic. We obtain holy bloodstone by first securing a shard of starstone. The sacrifice of a lost one over this simple gem transforms it into a jewel capable of miraculously healing one laid low by sickness or injury. And what do you know about starstone? Before the conduit came, starstone was little more than a pretty gemstone used for pure adornment. Fools were we not to realize that the stone came from the goddess herself. Fools were we to adorn our statues, our swords, our jewelry with a material capable of becoming bloodstone. And that's everything he has. Okay. Take my leave. So we knew most of that. Yeah, back here is the entrance to these caves. We'll deal with that later. We actually have 
another entrance over here by the waypoint that we'll go explore. But before we go that way, we have a couple other things to do. Further into the town, or I guess not really further into because there's not much town left. We've got this river. Now, I thought, I thought this was lava the first time I saw it, but it's just reddish water. If we go through this... Let me zoom in a little bit. We've got a cave entrance and this chest. Oh, okay. Identify that. Identify that. And give the... Oh, yeah, soul salad. We'll probably sell that. Let's take a look. Oh, I do want to switch these out, I think. I think we picked up an air wand. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. It's level 15, which makes me a little bit nervous. We're level 14. We're finally getting stuff that is, that is beyond us. And that makes me a little bit nervous. I don't think I'm going to equip it. It takes extra AP to use. So we won't equip it yet. But I do think... I wonder if we have anything better than what we have. Let's see, that's 49 to 81. Yeah, this water one. Oh. Actually, this... Wait, this one's level 15 too. Okay, we'll do this one. And maybe switch to... Oh yeah, look at this. A bunch of level 15 stuff. Hmm. You know what, we'll, we'll keep that other one the way it is. Let's go in this cave. There's not actually much in here, but we do discover why the river is red. Look at this guy. All these bodies. These are the lost. We've got Jareth of Homefrost right here. Level 15 skull elite guy. You, Let's talk. A source hunter in sacred stone. Explain yourself at once or you'll be next on the pile. I've passed the Immaculate Initiation and have come to join your ranks. Do welcome me, brother. Your order, yes. I never thought I'd see the day one of your order joined ours. The lure of the goddess is quite magnificent, though, is it not? Perhaps I might ask you a few questions. Ask, then. What can you tell me about this village? It's the material hub of our faith, and it's adjacent to the Great Temple, too. Oh, if you can find Mangoth just before a sacrifice, you'll never thank the goddess enough. What an exquisite sight. So, I don't know what Mangoth is. I don't know if Mangoth is a person, if it's a place, or something else. It does say that the village is next to the... or he says that the village is next to the temple. We haven't found the temple. There's a little section of the map that we haven't uncovered yet for this whole Lucala Forest area. It might be there. I thought the first time I did this, it was... We were in the temple, and it was kind of an underground thing, but that is not the case. we got quite a lot of bodies here. Last ones, each and all. But they've been put to better purpose now. I've been given the great task of collecting them from Mangoth's temple. To think of the wonders their blood has wrought. Who are you, exactly? I am Jareth by name. I was once a druid of a forest not so far from here. But I had to flee a certain infection of rot. Nasty business, that. I'm quite happy here among our kind, though. The goddess' presence truly enlightens the very air. Take my leave. And then over here, we've got a little bit of a... We've got a few things. We've got this book. Let's read it. In the event of the Divine One's return... According to prophecy, the Divine One will lead our people to, into a better world. 
but what will this new world look like? I have read nearly all texts regarding Reuben Farrell, the author of the prophecy, and the more I study his words, the more inconsistencies I find. What kind of person would this Divine One be? Will every living being see his vision for the new world, or will the Divine One select individuals? According to prophecy, the Divine One will destroy all evil. How can lovers of creation advocate for the destruction? Can the Divine One really distinguish between good and evil? Or will he choose what is evil according to a preset moral code? Good question. And there's another book over here. Did I see... Did I see Key? I don't think so. Another book. Why the Seven Gods Exist Not Now Nor Ever Have. Gods, ha, fairy tales, phantoms, what more? Who could mistake the mysteries of nature for the hand of a ghost? The bounty and beauty of nature. It seems foolish to assign this wonder to some unknown and unknowing entity. Some may request I cast my mind's gaze not upon the lilies of the field, but upon the soul of man and the higher beasts. But this I submit, that I have inspected the inner workings of man and beasts, living and dead, and I have found no soul, only squirming red and bleeding purple. There was no god in those private chambers. I wonder if Jareth wrote that. And this is a nice torture rack. And that's all that's down here. I don't know if we come back later. I don't think these corpses carry anything. But that's the that's the area as far as I can tell. So with that in mind, I think we can just waypoint our way back to the entrance of Sacred Stone. Yeah. Ooh, is this the same river? No, this is the Bloody River. And it's not bloody once it comes to here. So we can go... This way. Yes, this way. We've reached the prison. Now there's a orc in here. We'll talk to him last. There's quite a few interesting things going on in here. The jailers. What is it? I've got to stay focused. These prisoners will riot at the earliest chance. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? What do you want to know? We guards are the most trusted in the village. We protect the blood source after all. You can't have bloodstones without half the equation, can you? And what can you tell me about these prisoners? You see prisoners, I see fuel for the goddess's plan. Yes, they have enough in them for quite a number of bloodstones. Her will be done. Indeed. Now there are chests here, they're... They're, um... I don't want to steal for them and make the guards mad just yet. And this is a... Iron ball. All right, let's work our way up here. We can hear some folks. Oh. No, there's nobody in there. Francis. Damn traveler. Friend. Have you been caught by these pretenders too? Who are you, sir? I am a Sicilian by birth. And an immaculate at heart. But I have been tossed into this cell like a common criminal. By my own brothers. My own kin. What are you doing in prison? Oh, traveler. It is a ghastly tale. A terrible tale. I came from my home in Sicil to this realm of the immaculate. I wanted only to be among my people. To live in a city of the goddess? But I saw terrible things, traveler. Things I could not fathom that the goddess would command. When my brothers saw my doubts, I was seized and tossed in this cell. 
What did you see that so shocked you? Of that I... I dare not speak, Traveler. I fear what may befall me if I am caught conversing with an outsider on such delicate topics. So Francis is kind of an interesting, he's got an interesting take because most people think that the Immaculates are just devoted to the goddess Astarte. I think it's Astarte. And they think sorcery is a good thing. It's been... Oh, let me move away from her. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and Francis has seen through that, like, Leandra is using the Immaculates to help bring about the end of the universe. Oh my gosh. So there's a couple other people. There's a... Let's talk to the, this one. Eastern Stranger. You. A source hunter, are you? Damn it all. I had hoped for someone who might be able to help us out of here. Tell me about yourself. I come from a village not so far to the east of here, the Hunter's Edge by name. What remains of it, I know not. Orcs surprised us, uh, ravaged the place, shipped off every man, woman and child they could find to one terrible fate or the next. And all the while, the evil Queen Gratilda presided over our misery, brandishing her carving knives with glee. What makes you think I can't I help you? Know you? I've learned my lesson with your kind. Source Hunter. <laughs> Fat lot of good Source Hunter prestige did for us when Gratilda came. We had a Source Hunter station right in our town. A coward called Medora. And she was the first caught and the first flayed when the orcs crept in. We kept waiting for her to save us. Little knowing our only defense had fallen. Well, for all her posturing as a great and powerful source hunter, she failed us the only time we ever needed her. How were you brought to this prison? No, you they brought us in carts like cattle. Some of us to the mines, some here, some only the gods know where. We heard whispers from the very beginning. Blood sacrifice. Lost ones. Conduit. I can't say exactly what it all means, but I am certain a dark fate awaits us. It probably Please. does. You don't look familiar. You aren't from Silver Glen, are you? No. With you, I can speak freely. Tell me about yourself. I am a resident of Silver Glen. A woman imprisoned for being fool enough to speak against these blasted immaculates. I couldn't stand by and see my friends and colleagues duped by such an obvious ploy, but no matter now. None can hear me but the rest of the dross. What do you know about this prison? There is no release. There is only slaughter awaiting those unfortunate enough to be chosen. We rail and we plead, but to no avail. Indeed, and it's... Oh, there's a fourth one. You don't look familiar. No, not her. This one. What is it? I don't make an habit of associating with your kind. Lost one. Why do you call me a lost one? You hardly look like one of we immaculates. No, I fail to see a trace of the goddess upon you. So, a lost one you must be. Destined to serve we who are worthy. How did you, you come to find yourself in prison? A simple mix-up. One I'm sure my jailers will rectify as soon as they're able. My fool of an husband was caught abetting the escape of a pair of sacrifices. But surely Lady Attenborough will soon realize the error of trying me for this crime. There's none more devoted to the one way than I. Elias proved himself lost. And I disowned him the moment I heard of his deeds. Okay, let's get away from them. I don't think we know. I just had to get away from Francis. I can still hear <laughs> I don't think we know who Lady Attenborough is. Medora is one of the characters in Seal that you can recruit into your party like Jahan, which makes me wonder if there's a special side quest for Jahan in this game. I don't think we've experienced anything like that. Pleasure, Malige. Pleasure. How can we help you? Who are you? Oh, we're nobody. 
Nobody and nobody's malice. No, no. You'll not hear a peep of trouble out of us. In fact, perhaps we might be rather useful. Tighten your screws, can we? Fix a broken cell door. Why are you imprisoned here? Well, a very strange question. I hadn't considered it myself. No, no. It's... How does one explain it properly? It's in our very nature to thrive behind bars. Yes, indeed. Slaves, we are. And servants, cannon fodder. Vivisection subjects live in footstools. Yes, yes. We imps live to serve. And then we die. But I suppose... <coughs> I do suppose that if the door were wide open like that, I suppose we might. Well, I suppose we might have a look around. So that makes me think that we might engineer a prison break, but I'm not sure. I mean, there's a no strange place to keep attached to the schoolhouse. That's right. the least of the troubling oddities about this place. Here's the Immaculate Academy, here's the prison, right next door to each other. So, if somebody makes a mistake in school, do they just get tossed in? I don't know. These Immaculates are fantastic! They'd rather exterminate their own kind than mine! There's one more guy, the orc that's back around in the original spot. Let's chat with him. Ooh, can I reach you? Uh, okay, okay, hold on. I have been able to speak to this guy before. Oh, here he comes. Come closer. You there, human! Look, I promise not to bust your skull if you help an orc out of the cell. Oh, I'm like a whale in cooking pot here. Yeah. See, I think we break these guys out at some point. Who are you? Ruth or I'm called. But I doubt anyone but me remembers that now. I've been in there nearly as long as a lifetime. Don't know why they haven't cut my throat like the rest. Maybe they've gone fond of their pets. How did you become in prison? You're too big to fit through the door after all. Oh, I've been here since I was but a wee lad. Truth be told, these walls are just about all I know. But sunlight, there's something even a big oaf like myself couldn't forget. One day, Source Hunter, whether you help me or not, I'll feel sunlight again. So yeah, these guys feel like something's going to happen here, but we're too early to the party. Maybe we weren't supposed to come here yet. Maybe we we're supposed to go down here or over here. We still haven't explored this area, actually. Well, maybe we'll do that. Go up this way. That might be a good idea. I think this might be where the temple is or here down in this section. Not sure. We'll have to figure it out next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I <laughs> I hope I didn't sound too annoyed, but really, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our time together. See you next time. Take care.